everyone welcome back to the channel or welcome to the channel if you are new here so i received this die set as part of my november design team package from oops surprise creations now this is a die designed by joe coogan so it comes in four pieces and it makes a tunnel card you can though use let me just grab this piece this piece on its own separately if you wanted just as a frame because it cuts out like this i've also i used the middle piece to cut the center out of here but if you didn't want to cut the center piece out it cuts out in a hole so you could use it as a backing piece so it's a really versatile wee die really like it so i'm going to show you how to make one of these little um tunnel cards with it so first of all what you need to do it comes in this piece which you can cut out the whole backing piece this piece for decoration and it cuts this piece is for the two side panels and then you've seen that bit cuts out the center so what you need to do is cut out two of the side panels now if you can see it's got the wee lines in it that cuts out and it's also got the two score lines it cuts out the little slots on each side so you need two of those you also need five of these ones with the center cut out so using this piece to cut out the main piece and then this piece to cut out the center so I'm going to show you how I've done that so let me just pop these to the side bring in my big shot Now I'm doing this in black card um, just because I like using black card and it shows up well on video as well. Okay, I do use a lot of black card though. So, pop it down. Oops. And let's just run this one through. Make sure I've got it right on my card. And this is um, 280. 280 GSM black card that I'm using. So, this is how it cuts out. Cuts out the shape perfectly. So, then what you need to do is cut out the middle piece to make your tunnel. So, you can either, what I do is just roughly center it okay to cut it out but if you don't feel confident enough to do that take your dies place this one back in the die place this one where you would like it so just sort of center it up and then place that one in the center face down because I'm going to be cutting into the card face down like that and then lift away the decorative piece and then just put in a couple of pieces of tape the Wotac tape just to hold that in place and then that's ready to run it through so let's just run this back through Excuse me, itchy nose. Okay. And then what we'll have is this, which makes your tunnel. So you need five pieces of these. Okay. So I've done that five times. I've just done it off camera just to um speed it up a bit and you also get these wee cook bits that you can keep and make tags out of them turn it upside down you've got a cracking wee pocket that you can use to slip your tags in in your journals so keep those then what i want to do is cut one more of these is that going to be big enough that card nope so i need to grab another sheet of card And you want a solid back piece 
for the back. Now, what I'm going to do first is just grab a sheet of 6x6 paper. Now, I got this uh, colourful safari pad. I picked this up from the range. It was only a pound. 50 sheets and you might be thinking safari. Yep, but I've got this. It's absolutely gorgeous paper. Now, it's supposed to be like crocodile skin or something like that. But to me, it's quite... I don't know, I just really like it. I really like the colour. So what I'm going to do before I cut this out is I'm going to stick it down. So. Just some light blue. And make sure you give it quite a good cover in. Like so. Okay. And then I'm going to stick this. Actually, I'm going to have it that way because it looks more like water that way. I'm going to stick this onto here. Like that. Okay. Then take this and just use my tape to stick it down and I need to cut it down a bit because I'm not using my Gemini I'm using my Big Shot for this I've been using my Big Shot quite a lot lately just because it's on my desk and it saves me having to turn around um, and fiddle a bit with the Gemini so I've just been using this okay Hopefully that's cut right through and it has. Let's be gentle, this is non-stick, it's, it's the best um, low tack tape I've, I've actually had. I'm not sure, I think it's Crafter's Companion, Elizabeth, my friend, gifted it to me and it's amazing. It really doesn't mark your card. So then we've got this back piece so that is going to be what you see through your tunnel so then I'm going to cut out this piece because I want it to be this is going to be my front piece okay so I want that on the front in a nice colour so let's just see if there's anything else in here that I can use or if I need another pad that's quite nice to go for the green so put that to the side bring an old trusty put this down and let's take this through See it's cut beautifully. Tap it off. Get all the bits out. And let's just. This is actually easier from the back because of the colour of this paper. It's funny on the eyes. <laughs> so let's just pop it all the wee bits. And pop it nice and easy. It's cut perfectly, which is good. And you can see I cut it when I cut it in the black, that was 280 GSM and it cut perfect on the big shot, no problems at all. So they're good quality dies, these. Well designed. Joe's an amazing designer. Um and obviously demands high quality for these dies. So there we go. Cut out beautifully. So let's take one of our Oh, what am I doing? I still need to cut out the centre bit. My gosh, okay. Forgetting what I'm doing, so we need to cut that bit out. I could have done that all together there. I wasn't thinking. But it's alright. I'll shove it through. Okay. 
I was just making sure that I hadn't moved there. Okay. So carefully remove this tape like that and like that because I don't want to tear any of it, that's quite thin paper. Okay, so there we go, now we've got the frame. So now we want to take one of the black frames, that's going to be our front and that's going to go right over there, isn't that pretty? So let's just put some glue. And if you can believe it, I have been remembering to put my lid on my glue. Yep, I know. I don't know how, but I think because I've got it that much drummed into my head now that I've been remembering to put my lid on. Because it drives me nuts when it dries up. Okay. Two sides done. And you're going to need a lot of glue, guys. I've probably put far too much on here and that'll leak out, but you can... Wipe it off, and this glue is amazing, it dries clear. I swear by this Anita's Tacky Glue, it's one of the only glues that I will buy. It does, um, it even does fabric. Even though I buy a different fabric glue, but this does, does your fabric as well. Okay, so, let's go, oops, cover it in glue. Let's pop this. Let's take another one. Pop this. Right over the top there, and I took another one there because this one I cut when I put it through, I cut it slightly squint, but that no matter that I can go on the inside. It's only because I'd only taped the top and not taped the bottom, so definitely tape it top and bottom when you're cutting your aperture, it just helps to keep it straight. Okay, so we have this wee guy now that actually looks cool. So I want to see if I need to decorate each one because I've never, this is the first time I've put this together as well. So one, two, three, four. Should I not have another one of them? Five. Should I? Or am I dreaming? I don't know. We'll see when we put it together. I thought I had cut another one. Never mind, you know what I'm like. Right, let's take our wee side panels that we've cut out. And when it cuts out, it's got the two score lines. You can see here, if I can just grab it. You can see here, it's got the cut lines and it's also got two score lines. So just fold them in on themselves, like that. So you've got the wee flaps. And then the first one, what I'm going to do is take off the two tabs on each side because you don't need them on the first one. So let's just snip them off neatly as possible. Okay. Okay. And then I'm going to put my glue all the way down my little flap that's made by the die. And I'm going to glue on, actually, first of all, what I want to see is when I put my two bits in, do that go right to the bottom? Yeah, it does. It does. Um, turn that, oh, that's wrong. Wait, I need to do this side. So I'm going to stick that on to there just making sure that I'm lining it up correctly give it a wee press down on the inside and I've used too much glue as I usually do just make sure that I've got it and what I'm going to do is put one of these in to make sure it's matching up at the bottom, if you know what I mean. And it is. Do you know what I mean? Like, I didn't want one longer than the other or it wouldn't stand properly. Okay, so that's fine. So we've got that there. And then take the other one on the other side. Now, you have to make sure that your little slits, see how you've only got two sets? Those need to be towards the bottom and not the top. 
So let's just add our glue. Again to here on this side and I'm just making sure that I line it up right to the edge take off any excess glue and then you can turn it over and give it a wee squish just to make sure that it's stuck so now we have our front and we have our two sides like that and you can see we've got the two flaps at the back so what we want to do now is put in, we have the four tabs on each side that correspond to the two slits on each side. You know, the two slits on each side correspond to the two, two tabs, I should say. So with two tabs, you just want to pop them through the two in that side and then the corresponding two in this side. Now I've chosen just to leave these black, but you can decorate these all up too if you want. So now we have the two. And then I'm going to take this one and pop it in this side. And the slot in nice and easy. And once your back panel is on, they won't come back out. They'll be secured in place. And then I'm going to put this one on. Slip it in there. And slip it in here. It's hard to see because I'm trying to show you guys at the same time. There we go. In there. And then there. And just give it a wee pull through. I want to make sure that go right through so that it's going to be nice and tight when it's finished. Which it is. So can you see the wee tabs coming through the side now? So we've got that one in. And we have this one, pop it in both sides. Same on the other side. So really super simple to put together. It's just a case of putting the wee tabs through the slots, giving them a wee pull. So we've got the three on each side now. Now, one, two, three, four. I'm sure I cut another one of them. I'm going to need another one because there's another one inside. But look, it's starting to look really cool. I really like that. That's fab. So, what I'll do is I'll cut another one out and I will come straight back. Okay, so I've just had a bit of a ding moment. What I've realised is you can put things on each side. Look, I don't know why I never thought of this before. So I was thinking, these are more of the dies that I received and they're absolute look. They're gorgeous. And this mermaid one. So what I was thinking, that's the other one that I've just cut out. What I was thinking is maybe, let's see her, what she's like for size, is popping on the mermaid here at the side and then using a couple of, we could maybe have the dolphin, maybe, is that too big? We could definitely have the seahorse, I think. We'll try the dolphin. This will make sense in a second, guys. I know I'm talking to myself. We'll have that. And we'll have that. So, I'm going to cut these, I think. Okay. okay, I'm going to grab some card to cut these out. Okay, so that was like a total epiphany moment. I'm like, oh, honestly, Sam, seriously. Okay, so I've grabbed this ombre sheet of card, which I think is really pretty. I think it'll go nice against the black as well. So the mermaid, all these dyes and things, guys, that I'm using, they will be linked down in the description box. So 
if you're interested you can go and have a wee look I'm going to sort of pop her half on the green and the blue and the yellow so she can go there so let's tape her there then the dolphin I'm going to have in the blue and the purple so let me grab my tape You know that's why and the thing is you can make videos and you can edit them and all that i don't do any of that but everybody makes mistakes everybody has moments where they're like oh do you know what i mean so it's like no and then we'll have the wee seahorse there i think half the things that i make i find them by accident we'll have the little in fact we'll have him up here and have him quite dark the turtle Stick that there. What else will we have? We'll have Triton, King Triton. And he can be more mermaid there, so we'll have him the opposite colours. We'll have him quite bright. What else have we got in here? We've got a starfish. We'll have that up there in the reds. Don't know if we'll use all of this, but we'll try. We can have a little piece of seaweed. That can go on the green. We can have the man I know that's supposed to be black, but we'll have him there. We'll have... I don't think we're going to have space for all this, but we'll go for it. If we didn't use it all, then we can use it on another project. And we'll have the anchor down here. Right, let's tape these down. Just to make sure they ain't going nowhere. And I'm going to put these through the Gemini because it's the A4 play. So let me just sort this out. So, lift it, hopefully without moving them. Oh, there's a wee crab. He needs to go on as well. He can be quite orangey. He definitely needs to go on. Let's just tape him down. And then... Okay, let's pop this through and see what happens. This is quite fun actually. Okay, let's go with this. You can hear it zooming through the Gemini. So, I'll just run it through once and see happens i need a new plate for my gemini it's getting a bit bored again but i'll just pop it through the other way and it'll straighten it up let's take all of these off of here off the magnetic sheet pop all this away over here okay and let's see what we've got so we can see the wee crabs cut out in the orange he's cute there is my dolphin. Take all of these off. Oh, wow. That's gorgeous. Look. We've got an ombre mermaid. We have... Sea turtle. This is like a big reveal. <laughs> Look at the octopus. We've got the octopus. We will have what's this? Seahorse. Some of them have all fallen out, which is good. Let me just pop these dies over here. Keep all these bits of tape. I've got Triton. Where is he going? Oh, he's down there. I can see him. That's our man today. Our anchor. And our base seaweed. So, everything is out. Oops. Let's see what we've got then. There's Triton. Our mermaid. 
and Mantry Dolphin. Oh, these are really cool, guys. That's looking so cool. I like that. Right, let me just get my pokey tool and pop out the seaweed. Okay, so we've got all these bits and pieces. Right, so the back one then. So let's take this back apart because I want to decorate it first. Let's take these four. Obviously, you've got the front one, which can not become apart. But I think I'm going to stick my mermaid like that. So she can go kind of half on and half off. There. She can go there. Let's just squeeze her down. See where we need a wee bit extra glue. Oh, that looks cool. I like it. So look, she's like half on, half off. Then I think we'll have... What will we have on the front? A wee starfish up here. That can go there. We'll have... I'm going to put a little bit of glue on the front of the seaweed and stick it in there. <laughs> Look at that! That's fab! Then, the next one, we'll have some smaller stuff. So we'll have... Because we're going to have to lie them all together and make sure that we're not covering anything up too much so let's do it this way so this tutorial turned out longer than what i thought it was going to be but do you know what that is how you find it a bit stuff we'll put try in here you're not going to see everything there's no way because i've cut it too much but we'll go with it so we'll put Triton there, so you're going to see him like that. We will have, what will we have? A wee seahorse. And I'm going to put him for the back. So we'll have the seahorse sticking out for here. Like that. Okay. That's going to go like that. So we can put this one in now. So we're getting there eventually, guys. You know me by now, I just wing it half the time. So the fact that we're actually getting somewhere is good. Let me snip the end of this wee seahole. Oh no, the end of Triton's thing off so that it fits in the slot. Okay, so we have it on these sides. Look! Oh my gosh, that's gorgeous! I love it! Joe, you're ingenious. Okay, then let's have the next one. And you can have some blank ones if you want, but what I'm going to do then is pop the anchor at the bottom. Just put a wee bit of glue and have that there. Let's move these ones up the road just now. So when that goes down, we're going to see the anchor through it. That's pretty cool. Then we can have... I think my dolphin, I'm going to stick him on the very back page. Because he's quite big, so he can be going across there. Thing is, because it's a tunnel card, you're going to, you know, you're going to be looking through it to see what you can see anyway. So then, let's see, we can have, I think, we'll pop this one in now. I've got the anchor on this one. Let's put this one in. Put it in that side and in this side. Is this the second one or the third one? The second one, I'm putting that in the wrong 
throwing it back. Okay, getting ahead of myself. In there, and in here, and that one, and in that one. Okay, look. Love it, and you could do this with any of your die cuts. So, put the next one behind and see what we're going to see. So, I think we'll have the manta ray coming from the top. So, I'm just going to put a little bit like that and have him coming down there. And let's see. So, yep, you'll be able to see him in the background. And I'm also going to put the octopus to the front. So just putting a wee bit of glue on his tentacles. Oops. And we'll have him here. Like that. And then let's pop this one in. Can you imagine this? You could make this really vintage and put all your wee sewing spools and all sorts in here. This is definitely going to be a lot of fun to play with. And it's just something different. You know, it's an actual wee gift you're making, not just a card. No, that I don't mean no just a card. You can make some absolutely gorgeous keepsakes cards. But if you want to make something a wee bit different, then this is definitely the way to go, and I've missed one here. What have I done? I put two through the same one. No. That one's through the first one. This one through the second one. You think it was something hard I was doing here, you're just putting it through the coordinating slots, but I've popped it there you go. Two through two, Sam. Three through three. Three through three. It's hard because I'm looking over it so that I can try and show you guys it. Okay. So we have three. So let's just give it a wee pull to make sure it's right through. There we go. <laughs> It's looking good. And then the last one, let me just see. That one's going to go there. So at the very bottom, I'm going to have, in fact, yeah, I will. I'll have my turtle just coming up here. Like that. Aye, because you can, you can see it. So let me put my last one on. My last slots. That one through there, and that one through there. Give it a wee pull, and then this one through here. I think when you're on video as well, you're more under pressure to try and get it right through, so. Okay. Look at this. This is so cool. Look. <laughs> Look at that. That is fab. I'm going to stick my wee crab on as well, since we've cut him out, he can go on, and we'll have him here. Okay, and then I'm going to have my dolphin right at the back. So, for this again, you don't need 
the two tabs at the side so let's just cut them off cut them off cut them off and then we're going to put the glue on here and the glue on here like that and then place it on just line it up making sure all my extra glues away that side and then line it up to this side and this is what holds all your bits in because it makes it nice and tight so if you just line it up make sure it's straight like that give it a wee press just hold it for a second just to make sure that it's secure this glue does grab quite quickly but not that quickly that I'm trying to rush it make sure both sides are stuck And there we go. Look at that. How cool is that? Oh. I'll just separate that one. That one's popped out when I was... There we go. Look. I love that. I've never made a tunnel card. I have made a tunnel card before, but no way I die. That is really cool. I really like that. Let me zoom in so you can see. All the wee animals popping through. How cool is that? And you can use that with any of your dies. So yeah, it turned out a bit of a longer demonstration than what I thought it was going to be, guys. But how cool is the finished um, project? And all from these four little guys, cleverly designed by the amazing Joe Coogan. So, talk to me in the comments. Let me know what you think. Like I said, everything will be linked down in the description box that I've used today. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you all soon. Bye-bye.